Waste generated by healthcare activities include a broad range of materials such as used needles and syringes, soil dressings, body parts, diagnostic samples such as blood, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and radioactive materials. Poor management of healthcare waste potentially exposes healthcare workers, waste handlers, patients, and the community at large to infection, toxic effects, and injuries, as well as risk polluting the environment. It is essential that all medical waste materials are segregated at the point of generation, appropriately treated, and disposed of safely. Federal Law No. 21 of 2005 for Waste Management in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi and Schedule 3 Amendment No. 21 of 2001 for Federal Law No. 24 of 1999 has been established for medical waste disposal. Management of each healthcare facility shall be responsible for ensuring good waste management practices, specific clinical waste such as anatomic, pathological, pharmaceutical, genotoxic, and radioactive materials must be disposed under supervision. All packed medical waste must be marked with the biohazard symbol. All general waste must be kept in a separate room pending waste management facility collection. Infectious materials should be kept in a room with limited access for authorized personnel only. Laboratory waste must be kept refrigerated and cool, then sent for disposal. Next up, we're going to talk about the different color codings of our management for waste disposal. All right, now let's talk about the different color codings we have for medical waste disposal. Right over here, we have the red color bags. The red color bags are used for anatomical and pathological waste. They are considered heavy duty and they are marked with contagious waste. Over here, we have the yellow color bags. The yellow color bags are used for disposable linens used for patients, beds, caps of bottles for receiving and storing blood, diapers, specimen collection bags. You can as well put here dressings, syringes without needles. But remember, 65% is the maximum capacity on when you can actually fill up the yellow bag. Beyond that, you're not allowed to put anything. You have to seal it up and that's it. Over here, we have the sharps containers. The sharp containers are used for putting in sharp objects. These are heavy duty containers and they are marked with sharp objects. But remember, you are not allowed to fill 75% of its capacity or that's it. 75% stop. Okay. All right. Blue transparent bags. These bags should harbor laboratory waste. These are ways that needs to be sterilized before disposal, such as bacterial plates, culture plates, gloves, contaminated clothes, and contaminated blood. They are marked that they need to be autoclave or sterilized before disposal. Remember, after autoclaving, these materials or bags must be placed in red bags. Now, for more information, you can download our PDF down on the link so you can see the different classifications and group of medical ways that you can put in each particular color-coded bags.